I just spent the last three weekends wearing the same sweatpants sewing all day. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I make a bunch of sustainable fashion inspo and also DIYs. And this video is kind of like a vlog of the last three days. I just sewed a bunch of Valentine's outfits with these clothes that were donated to me. So thank you to everyone who donated. And I was super excited to rework all these clothes. This is only some of the clothes they gave me. I specifically chose a bunch of pink outfits to rework from. And the first item I found was this corduroy skirt that I knew automatically I wanted to rework. Because like, how perfect is that for Valentine's? Valentine's. Then I went in and I also found this denim skirt which is perfect because corduroy and denim together we're gonna make something like amazing and I know it's hard to see but both are actually from Forever 21 which is so funny and they're a very similar size so I wanted to kind of make a color block design and obviously as you can tell my cat is literally in every DIY video because she always wants attention. For this DIY I kind of wanted to, to keep the bottom of the corduroy skirt and then the top of the denim skirt which is um, gonna be interesting because this is the design I kind of want to go for so in order to get it to be the same size as you can tell they match perfectly on the edges I just copied the bottom of the skirt to it and then cut it down and then freaked out when I got to the freaking zipper because I was like oh my god do you cut the zipper yeah this is what I want it to kind of look like so I went in and started overlocking the edges and then me being my stupid self got up and thought you could see my face but you can't so this is me just flaring my arms around a little close-up of me overlocking it and this is what it looks like so far sewn together and I didn't realize it's actually kind of big for a size small so I also added belt loops which I didn't show in the video I got too excited because I ran downstairs and wash and dried the skirt so I can get the design I want and this is how it came out it literally came out exactly how I wanted it I'm like so excited it's so cute it looks so much better now that it was washed and dried because it has a little phrase on it and for those of you who are new to my channel, you can shop any of these items on my Teleport account, which is linked in my bio and also this video. It's just a new thrifting app you can shop on and I sell on it specifically. The next item I sewed today was this tapestry blanket that I actually thrifted a while ago. It's so pretty. I wanted to make something cute with it and I bought this pattern off of Etsy. It's just a sweatshirt pattern and then I put it together, which honestly took so long to put together if you're someone who's ever done this and this is what it looked like when I had my pieces that I needed taped together it's literally the size of my whole body like that's just too much I then highlighted my size because that was the size I was gonna cut out just because I want to model the sweatshirt and afterwards I went in and started sewing and cutting which is so scary but so exciting I wanted each piece to have a heart on it so I tried cutting it in a way where there would be two hearts on the front and the back and then also I wanted a heart on each sleeve guys this sweatshirt was so hard to cut like literally it was like cutting through two tapestries in one it was crazy but i finally got it done and these are what the pieces look like they are so cute each one has a heart i'm so excited to like sew it together after i was done overlocking the individual pieces i wanted to try it on to see how it was kind of like coming out and so far it looks pretty good i mean it's inside out but like i like it it, it looks pretty good so far so i think i should like sew it together and this is what it looks like completely sewn. I also went back in and added frayed edges to the bottom of it because I wanted the fray to be on the sleeves and the bottom hem and honestly came out really cute. I styled it with this dress because I thought the layering would look cute and the colors match perfectly. Best part is it's reversible so you can have purple hearts on the front, you can have pink hearts on the front, or you can reverse it to like the green side which is a lot more colorful but really still really cute I feel like and honestly it's a size like small medium so if you like it you should definitely go check it out and the next diy for my next day was this pinterest video i found i wanted to recreate except instead of using lipstick i wanted to use paint so it would actually last i went in and collected all of my painting materials which oh my gosh call me crazy but i also don't own pink paint so i had to make it by combining the red and the white together and I know this is a little weird because like I'm painting my lips with paint. I wanted to test it out first on a piece of scrap fabric which honestly was coming out okay so I was like okay let's just get right into it. So I went in and I know I look so stupid but I'm literally just like kissing my pants and then I went in and also was kind of painting it to try and get like a better design but like guys I feel so stupid showing this but like I want to show you the process. This is how it came out after. Honestly, didn't like it that much, so I went in and started painting it with blotches of white and pink. It looked kind of like clouds, so I kind of liked it. 
also found these beads which are perfect to sew on for more detail they actually came out so much more better than i thought it was either gonna be a complete fail or something good which i'm happy about it because look at the whole side of the leg it's so cute and i also added in case you can't see a bunch of beads down the whole side of the leg there's also kisses on like the right side of the butt and Moving on to the next day, I wanted to kind of recreate these bags I made a long time ago, but like way better because these are kind of like flimsy. So I went in and grabbed all my denim scrap fabric that I've been hoarding for the past couple years. This is just my light section of jeans. I also have a dark section of jeans. So this is kind of like what all the fabric looks like. And the first thing I did was go in with my heart pattern, which I just copied off of my iPad. I traced it onto my fabric, which I specifically used the pastel denims to make little pastel hearts. And then I went in and tried making the actual bag, which honestly I was hating the way it was coming out. So I scratched it, tried making a pastel one, which you can see on the floor. And then I also decided I hated that, which you can see me contemplating like my whole life there. I went in a third time and started sewing and I winded up really liking this one. And you can even see the hearts on the tote bag, which I'm planning on putting there. And I just went through it and started cutting it out. And I'm so sorry about the light. It got so bright, but I still wanted to show you these clips of me just kind of like sewing and reworking it. This is what it looks like all pinned together. It's just a slab of fabric. And then I went in and added a bunch of details. The bag came out so cute. It's like a coquette style valentine's bag which i love i also created a lining which i forgot to film honestly if you want to see each one designed more in depth i put reels on my insta page so definitely go check it out if you're someone who likes to see more in-depth diying but really happy with the way this came out the next diy i did which was either the same day or the next day who's keeping track anymore like i don't even know was me combining the sweatshirt and sweatpants which i started with the sleeves and then forgot to film the rest so i guess we're just jumping into the midsection the midsection had a bunch of stains on it so i wanted to remove the whole thing and replace it and honestly it came out with a really funky looking design but i kind of like it as you can kind of see here because it's a bunch of pinterest posts like that and i was kind of going for that vibe i used the remainder of the pajama pants for the midsection to create like a cool looking design and honestly it came out really cute like i like it the sweatshirt also is from Pretty Little Thing. I forgot to mention that before. It literally says Pretty Little Thing on it, which is literally perfect for Valentine's. Like, I absolutely love it. My favorite part is definitely the sleeves, which I'm about to show you in a second. But I also left this sweatshirt long because I thought it'd be fun to play around with for whoever buys it because you can either crop it or just keep it long. The sleeves I actually added a tie to and a grommet so that way you can adjust it as long or high as you want and it also has these really cute little ruffle designs on it which I love. I wish I had close-ups but just check out my insta reels. So the next item I found which I may have put on the top of this to make a cool transition was just this black dress which I've been wanting to rework for so long and it's brand new with tags by Forever 21 and i've been debating how i want to rework this for a very long time now and i finally figured it out and starting off we're turning it into a two-piece because two pieces are the cutest thing ever all i did was cut around the existing seam line and then i also cut off the extra on top because it would have opened weird if i kept all that extra fabric afterwards i went to my bead collection which as you can tell i have a lot of beads that i like to work with and i chose a pair of pink beads to use for this and if you can't already tell tell I'm gonna be like sewing on a bunch of beads in heart shapes so the first thing I did was chalk out a bunch of little heart designs and then I went in and individually sewed each bead on by hand which may have taken me a long time but was definitely worth it because when you see how this came out so cute the beads are literally shining in the light as i move like this is probably one of my most favorite valentine diys that i did in this whole video and yet it was so easy to do and so sorry about me rudely talking as i film i was so busy i had to do both at the same time so don't mind me talking and definitely let me know what you think of this two-piece because definitely one of my favorites and moving on to my next project which i wanted to use the rest of this tapestry blanket and i had two hearts left and someone suggests that I make a heart tote bag out of these hearts. So that's what I was thinking of doing, but instead of turning it into a tote bag, I winded up actually just turning it into a heart bag, like literally the shapes of the heart, which I think came out so cute. Wait until you see it. 
all I did was cut around the shape of the heart which honestly gave me so much anxiety because they had to be the same size and it was not working out for a while but this is how the hearts came out and I'm happy they're the same color too I used the fray to put around the heart too someone suggests that I do that and honestly it came out really cute it honestly reminds me of a lion I don't know why but like I am definitely vibing with this design then I went in and made the lining which I used an old t-shirt I like to reuse t-shirts for lining to like prevent waste in my small business so all I did was lay them out and I needed to and then I traced the heart all around it and then just cut it out which honestly the lining gave me so much trouble when making this bag that it probably added like an extra half an hour just to sew it in just because it wasn't working for me and it came out so cute actually way better than I thought it would and I was actually debating about the straps and putting phrase on them but I'm happy I did it kind of reminds me of like a boho hippie valentine bag which i i can't get enough of it but let me know what i should do with the remainder of the material because i don't actually have hearts left on it but i have like parts of hearts and comment down below which one was better was the sweatshirt with the little phrase better or do we like the tote bag with the phrase just so i know what to make next time i buy a tapestry blanket and the last diy is reworking this skater skirt which i love the texture on this and it's from H&M. The only thing is I know skater skirts aren't really trending, so I kind of wanted to change the design of it using rubber bands. So we'll see how this comes out. I first started by just pinning the rubber bands in place. That way I can have an easy time sewing it. And then I just sewed it on my sewing machine by stretching it and just sewing a zigzag stitch on the seam. And this is how it came out. I think it came out pretty cute, so I'm going to go with it. And then I made bows and ribbons with extra scrap fabric and then I just sewed it all together which honestly came out really cute. It came out like a coquette style vibe which I really like. And this is the full foot I kind of came up with. Thank you so much if you watched all the way through. I really appreciate it and don't forget that if you like any of these items they're all available on my teleport account link below. And if you're buying for the first time you actually get $10 off so I hope to see you there.